Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at variable width content. So we've got this little grid system right here with five sections, totaling 12 columns. And these are just, you know, set to automatically just relative to this one because there's no number specified. But watch what happens, let's say if in here I increase the text a bit. As you can see, it just basically goes down. The width is maintained. But what if we want this to just to extend as the content extends as well? And for it to do its best to try and keep some sort of structure, you can do that really easily. You put call, and then the actual breakpoint that you want. So it'll be n dash nothing if it's extra small, SM if it's small. You know, medium for me, MD for medium, LG for large, XL for extra large, and XXL for extra, extra large. Then you put dash auto. I'm going to put dash auto for all sizes. So this is just going to trickle up from extra small. If I reload this, watch what happens. As you can see, this has readjusted. So this is six. And because both all these two, I mean, all these two and these two, you know, adjust accordingly based on what this is they are just sort of spreading out so yeah that's pretty much it that's just a really cool way of allowing you to automatically adjust the size but just bear in mind if you have too much content like i'm talking about low random content it can sort of again it's still got some structure to it it is still spreading stuff out accordingly but just bear that in mind that if you have too much content, it may not look and operate the way you want it. It's probably always best to restrict the amount of let's say, text or content that any particular part of your website can display. You know, a minimum and a maximum. And therefore, you can design your website accordingly. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. All the links to GitHub and how to contact me is in the description. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.